Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can write a script in UI policy. So as you can see on the screen that you're seeing a UI policy, which is opened in an advanced view. And here you can see the script section, but this particular section will be available in the advanced view. Okay. So if your UI policy is opened in a default view, please make sure that you change the view to advanced view. You can change the view by clicking on additional actions going on views options and check the advanced view for getting to the advanced view of UI policy or either there will be a related links here you are seeing default view you will be seeing the advanced view if the UI policy is opened in a default view okay now let's get to the script section so if we click on it we see a checkbox that is called run scripts if we check on it, we are going to see different fields in the script section. So we are going to check the run scripts checkbox. So you can see that other fields are visible now. Okay. Now we are going to discuss these fields. Run scripts in UI type field tells that in which user interface we are going to run this UI policy, whether it's a desktop, the view that you are seeing right now, the platform view of service now, or whether you want it for mobile or service portal also or you want for both the platform view as well as mobile and service portal view of the form for a table okay for that requirement and the fields execute if true execute if false if the condition in when to apply condition evaluates to true then the script which is written in execute if true field will run and if the condition evaluates to false then the script which is written in execute if false field will run okay now we are going to see the demo of it for the demo we are going to use the ui policy that you are seeing on the screen the functionality of this ui policy is to make service service offering configuration item fields mandatory and visible so when this particular condition is set to true that is category is one of inquiry help software hardware network database then service service offering configuration item fields will be mandatory and visible so if we go on our instant form right now if we change the category to none then the condition evaluates to false and it reverses the functionality of it but if we set it to true means change the category to inquiry or help you will see service service offering configuration item fields are visible as well as the fields are mandatory okay so we are going to write a script which will be providing a message for providing the justification why the user is changing the category of the incident okay so in the script we are going to check the checkbox of run scripts so click it and now we are going to select the ui type it will be all okay it all depends upon the requirements okay right now we are just selecting the all and in the execute if true fields this is a script we are going to type that and this particular field has access to g underscore form global object so whatever the properties or methods available in g underscore form object we will get access in this script so if we type g underscore form dot you can see that these are the methods which are available to us and we can use them in this script okay so we have to add the information so give information to the user add info message okay now we are going to provide a message this will be our message okay place the semicolon okay now we are going to save this ui policy so that we stay on the same form of the ui policy now we are going to test this ui policy functionality but for testing always refresh the page so that whatever the changes we have made in our ui policy or client script gets embedded into the form okay now you can see that this particular message is being displayed why 
because we have selected in when to apply on load also. So on load, the category is inquiry and help. This particular condition evaluates to true and script will run. Okay. And that's why you are seeing this message. So let's uncheck the on load checkbox and save the UI policy. Now we are going to go back to our incident form and reload the page so that whatever the changes we have made on UI policy or client scripts get embedded onto our functionality. Now you are seeing that we are not seeing that particular message. Okay. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to set the category to none. Okay. Now if we set it to none, you can see that our client script is working because this condition evaluates to false and it will reverse the functionality of it. So it can. Now we are going to set the category to any one of the category. So we are going to select software and you can see that our message is being displayed. Please provide justification in description field for changing the incident category as well as we can see that our service service offering and configuration item fields are mandatory as well as visible. Okay. So this is working. But if we change the category to none again, you can see that our message stays. Why? Correct. Because in our script, we are not providing any script in execute if false field. Because when this particular condition evaluates to false, then it has to take some actions. But we are not providing any action here. And that's why we are seeing the message being displayed on the top of the form. Okay, so we are going to update this and we are going to use g underscore form dot clear messages method and provide semicolon here. We are going to update it. Okay. Now we are going to go back to our incident form and reload the form again. Now close this message and we are going to change the category to none. So the UI policy executes and we are going to set the category to hardware. Now you can see that our message is being displayed at the top of the form and our service service offering configuration item field is mandatory and visible. And now we are going to set the category to none again so that our condition evaluates to false and our script which is written in execute if false field will run. Now we are going to go back to our incident form and set the category to none and you're going to see the message will be cleared. Okay. So that's how you can use the script in UI policy. So if you want to execute some complex configuration using the UI policy, then you can use the script section of it. So this was the end of the video. If you like this video, do share the videos with others and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.